What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. You know, a lot of these new families are coming about, brothers. And what is one of these new families? I would say it's not traditional. It is the alternative families. I'm not talking about families that are coming out of what we would consider LGBTQ. So to gay parents, trans parents. I mean, obviously we know those exist. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. I'm really not dealing with that. I'm dealing with the modern family that we see in black America. And that is you have a, um, a mother with a myriad of children, typically more than two or three, raising them by herself. And uh, ultimately, that can be with more than one baby daddy. That's what we're dealing with right now. Okay. And these women, uh, you know, God forbid, because you're, you're not able to criticize them. All right. And again, I don't waste my time criticizing them because number one, I don't live around folks like that no more. I don't give a damn what you do. I will say this as long as you stay at the hell away from me. I don't, I don't, I, I don't give a shit. Okay. Long as you stay your musty ass away from me, I don't care what you do. It's not my business. I don't care. So long as we all know that I don't care what you do, do whatever the hell you want to do. All right. But this picture is um, going around. This lady has five kids. Beautiful young lady. Five kids. And of course, some of them are throwing up gang signs. One of them has, it looks like if you point the arrow there in the back, a Draco hanging out his back pocket. Okay. And. That kid that has the Draco can't be no older than 13 or 14. Now, Georgia law makes it unlawful for any purpose to intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly furnish a handgun to a minor under the age of 18. Also, if a parent allows the kid to do it, they can be held liable. And some of these are gang signs. So you have four boys, one little girl. Now, obviously, if you were to look at what her voting block would be, she ain't no Trump supporter. She's a Democrat. She's a Stacey Abrams voter. Okay. She is, you know, a single mom and proud. I get that. My question is, if that young man that's holding that Draco keeps going in the direction that he's going and he is end up in some trouble in his life, who gets the blame? Does his daddy get the blame? Because we're not going to blame the mama, right? We never blame them. We always blame everybody else but them. We blame white supremacy. Then you blame black men. But he's growing up with his mother. And then when he doesn't end up becoming what he should become, you're going to say the system failed him. But you're never going to include the fact that his mama was there the whole goddamn time. Right? Y'all are not going to talk about that. I get it. Because it's, it's, it's too real. Here's what I want to talk about. Forget about the Pookie and Ray Rays. Okay? Let's forget about that. Let's forget about black men. Let's also forget about that because, see, that's that's also petty. I want to talk about this. What if you are a woman, a black woman, and your son or daughter is dealing with somebody from a house like this? Okay? Okay? You come to find out that, you know, this mate has no home training. What do you do? 
And let me tell you this. You can't do nothing because that's what people are training their kids up to do to be ready for your son and daughter. This is why some of y'all are having less and less problem with your kids married interracially. Not because you're just so big on it, because you just don't, you just feel like, you know what? These people in the black community are in certain communities. We don't even know if they're getting good parenting. So I don't know if they can even be ready for a full long or full a long term relationship. And guess what? Some of y'all are right. Here is what we are preparing for the rest of the people in our community. So when we have kids, here's what we're putting out there. You're going to be somebody's wife or daughter. You're going to be terrorizing somebody's wife or daughter or son. And it's going to be somebody else's fault. Not the mama's fault who raised you, but somebody else's because we don't want to take an accountability that, you know what, as parents, we suck. And other good black people got to pay for it. Y'all don't want to deal with that, but we need to deal with it, right? Let's deal with it where it's at. Because this is what we're doing for our people. We are not looking to do anything of any substance with black Americans. And how we help our generation. We won't. We will sit back. We will cry. We will complain about the white man. We will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will bitch. We will moan. We will do a whole lot of stuff. One thing that we won't do, I'll tell you. As a group, not everybody. We are not going to be accountable for why things are happening. We're going to sit back and blame other God dang people. We're going to blame racism. We're going to blame white supremacy. We're going to blame the legacy of slavery. Anything that's foolish. But we're never going to deal with the fact that that's our kids coming in at low test scores. That's happening under our watch. It's happening under, and we're going to be real, single parents watch be it male or female. We're the ones that's dusting it up over there. Not anybody else. We're the ones that are creating and raising kids that can't compete in the economy such that other black people don't want their kids dealing with us. That's us doing that. That's our L we're catching. We don't want to admit we're catching an L, but we are. We are. We are. We want to deal with everything else but what the truth is. And when you see this picture, you will see what's going on. And then you can't, it ain't like you can go out there and and, um, and, and shame somebody. No, that's normal. Don't you tell me what to do about my goddamn kid. I do what I want to do. Yep. And can't nobody tell them nothing. That's the issue. Because you do what you want to do, which is fine with me. Long as you get your ass away from me, I don't even care. And that's the situation, brothers. I love our people. I love them like the back of my hand. But you cannot deal with people. Struggle bonnet wearers. Twerkers. People who raise belligerent children. Nothing you can do to, 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 to stop that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. I'm out.